Hi guys, it's, uh, it's Nick from Hi Fi Collective. Today we're going to be building a ladder step attenuator, one like this. This is a mono ladder step attenuator using a silo two pole 23 way switch and uh, the Charcot Z4 resistors. This little beauty is around £650. High price because of the value of the resistors. They are very expensive. But you're not going to get a better step attenuator than this. Um, so this is a mono version. And to explain how it works, here we have the chart of all the resistor values needed. So the signal comes in here to the input, passes through the first RX, which is listed here, and RY listed here. Obviously your signal output is coming here. So the great thing about the ladder step attenuator is the impedance is constant. This one is 100K. So every any given step, it's always going to be 100K. The downside of a ladder is you've got an extra set of switches, switch contacts you're dealing with. You have also different types of step attenuator. You have your series one, which is great. Basically just a great long list of resistors that the signal passes through every single one. And then you've got the other one, which is a shunt. So basically that's a variable impedance over, the, over it. But I mean, that is the most popular version. But the ladder is, in my opinion, the best way to do it. So um, got my tools together, just snipes, nose pliers, cutters, solder, again using Mundorf silver gold, 3.8% silver content. We've got the switch here. Generally, put a knob on it just to hold it in place. Trusted glasses, and also let me demonstrate this light here, which is wicked for getting close. You can actually use that as well, but I'll use my glasses anyway. Um, so, first work on the layer, the RY layer. So this is this layer, where you've got your ground ring there. We have all the resistors laid out, R, X, R, Y. You can see that the first is zero R, so basically that is the earth wire. So the first step on here, if there isn't a resistor fitted. Now to keep things constant, so it looks nice. Just draw, draw around the resistor. There. And then you want it about that much. So you're bending the lead out. About there. So do one, you just easily turn the other one. I'm sorry. Alright, so like like with this one, the back is, I'm going around fitting it that way around just to keep everything constant. It doesn't really matter which way around these resistors are, but I always try and keep things constant. So you can see here, this is the first tag. Now this is going to have the earth wire going off. So the first resistor gets fitted there. Oops. Now these resistors are quite delicate. If you scratch them, you can change the resistance. So just be careful. Just making sure I do it the same kind of size. So I'll generally do a few before I pick up the soldering iron. short at this end and also I cut them a bit shorter here because it hits the um, the jaws of the vise as it turns around So all um, RY resistors are, are fitted 
um, and all that remains is the earth to be connected up. We use this PTFE, um, this is for the one mil wire, and this is obviously the silver, pure silver one mil wire HGC. So kind of gauge how much PTFE you need. It's about that. And then with this wire, you have to give it a bit of a squash to get it through the tag. Like that. Oops, forgot to put that one in. Effectively, you just solder up all the wires. What I do, I don't solder them all one, 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 one. I'll do a few key points just so that wires are held in place. So I'll do two here. You need clearance here so that the earth bar isn't touching the chassis. So what I generally do is just give it a bit of a bend like that. Bend them around ready for solder and start wearing them. So now we have completed our Y layer. Give you the earth here, going around. Make sure all the resistors are separate from each other, not touching. We're going to do a quick test just to make sure all is well. So on, on your meter, where's the connection there? So there's your earth, and there's the switch connector there. So 27, 56, 110, 220. 390, 750, 1K1, 1K8, 2K4, 3K6, 5K1, 7K5, 10K, 15K, whoops, let's go back, 10K, 15K, 20K, 24K, 33K, 39K, 51k, 62k, 82k, 100k. Now th these resistors are 0.1% tolerance, but don't be concerned that it's showing slightly off tolerance on the meter, it's just it's not calibrated. Position one is 100k, so working our way down. So you've got 12 at 100k, and we've got 91k, 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 82k, 82k, 62k, sorry, 75k, 68k, 62k, 51k. 36k, 20k, and zero. So it's done. Obviously, we wrap these guys incredibly carefully for sending our customers, but there you go.